and I think we're live. Looks like this is the first time I'm doing this, so if anyone's paying attention, looking around, just let me know in the chat that you can hear me well. Um, but yeah, this is Papa Joe. This is my uh, inaugural uh, video. Uh, I'm launching a, uh, a YouTube channel here, uh, primarily because I've had a lot of people ask me to do it. Um, I've had uh, several people that you guys all know come out, come out, tell me, you know, hey, you need really to do a, a YouTube show because the, I guess, just very humbling, you know, the uh, knowledge that I've gained over the years around blockchain, and cryptocurrency, and um, just in general, uh, people want to hear. So um, yeah, again, let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Um, just. Uh, want to make sure that you guys all have appropriate sounding and audio and whatnot not before we kind of get started here. I think it sounds good, uh, but uh, just let me know. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm Papa Joe. Um, who is Papa Joe? A lot, a lot of people may want to know that. Um, so I um, was born and raised in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, kind of had that southern mentality, if you will, around what I, how I uh, think and whatnot. I'm a believer. I'm born again uh, Christian. Um, so my lens of things and, and how I look at stuff will sometimes veer into that realm. Um, hopefully, uh, my my worldview is uh, where it needs to be for that kind of uh, stuff. Um, I uh, I've been in IT. So in technology for about 20 years, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe a little bit more with some certain things, but uh, uh, was uh, very interested uh, in technology at a very young age. Um, I started building computers for friends and family and selling them. And um, then I started doing technical support stuff, house calls, things like that. And, uh, I've done everything from HVAC controls to uh, the technology around behind how an actual building gets cooled off or warmed up, things like that. Um, I've held many different jobs in the IT world, um, different roles. I've been everything from uh, systems engineer all the way uh, up to head of IT for a large startup. Um, so uh, from a technology perspective, I'm an overall technologist. I love uh, technology. Uh, and that's kind of one of the reasons um, I wanted to do the, the channel here is because uh, I have uh, gone through and set up uh, myself and learned how to, what blockchain technology was. I was one of the earlier miners for uh, Bitcoin, so I started mining in late 2011 and have had a lot of fun learning what the technology was. It wasn't back then. I didn't back then. I didn't know um, what the monetary uh, aspects would look like and be. Uh, so that um, ended up being uh, something I found out and thought about later on uh, in life, uh, a couple of years later, I think it was late 2014 when I started realizing, somewhere in that ballpark, when I started realizing what the actual value of Bitcoin would be from a monetary standpoint. Um, but I wanted to learn the blockchain technology because I'm a technologist at heart, right? So I... Uh, I learned as much of that as I could, and then all of a sudden the light bulb started going off. You know, what uh, what blockchain means for humanity and how it can be used for humanity in, in, in a positive manner. Um, that t took me down all kinds of rabbit holes trying to, you know, everything from supply chains for retail, supply chains for like the military, supply chains for different things around the world, just in general. Having a decentralized and distributed ledger really gives um, uh, power back to the business, power back to the people to control their own destiny without having any constructs, any red tape, anything in their way saying you have to do it X, Y, and Z way. Um, from my personal perspective that really gives people the ability to kind of do whatever they want um, the nice thing about blockchain is it has these nice little things called smart contracts they give the uh, ability to go and 
build applications on the blockchain that run autonomously from any human interaction. Now you can build them to build to to, to do things with human interaction, but um, yeah, this is some of the stuff behind me. I love the technology uh, blockchain. I love cryptocurrency. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of who I am in a nutshell. Um, there's a lot more to me. As we build a relationship here and whatnot, I'll, uh, you'll start to learn those things uh, about me. Uh, so I'm um, thoroughly enjoying uh, what I'm doing here. So um, what you can kind of expect, um, well, let's back up. So uh, in the blockchain realm, I started a business called Astro Blockchain Consulting. You see it there in my background. You scan the QR code, it'll take you directly to my website. Uh, kind of learn what I do, some consulting uh, sessions, one-on-ones. If you want to be part of those, um, sign up for a session and we'll talk. Uh, I can talk you through and teach you through whatever you want to learn around blockchain, around cryptos. Um, if you want to have that type of one-on-one -on -one session, go for it. Um, I greatly appreciate it regardless anyway, in any way. Um, so uh, what to expect on my shows here. We'll cover blockchain technology. Um, I'll try to... I love to keep up with what's going on in the world and who's using it from a from a uh, uh, enterprise standpoint. So from what businesses are actually using blockchain and how they're using it. Um, as I'm able to figure that stuff out, um, I'll gladly share with you guys what you kind of know um, uh, within reason uh, what I am allowed to and what I'm not allowed to kind of share. Uh, but as far as what's being built for businesses, how they're using the technology, what they plan on doing with the technology, um, things like that. Uh, and then uh, we'll obviously talk cryptocurrency. Um, I happen to, um, like I said, I've been mining for a long time uh, and been in this space for a long time. I enjoy it to the point to where, I mean, probably... I love the technology just simply because you can take it and run with it and do so much with it. Um, and, and crypto just happens to be the cryptocurrency just happens to be the first thing that, that ended up being used um, for uh, uh, for blockchain or on blockchain. So there's so many use cases for blockchain. So um, I'll try to cover current current events within reason. Um, say within reason because uh, YouTube has strict rules around what we can and cannot cover publicly um, and that's fine it's prerog their prerogative um, but I'm setting up a Patreon show uh, which I will try to do every day around 4.30 um, and uh, that's I'm setting it uh, to $5 a month just to kind of keep the trolls out so uh, I appreciate anyone who joins that um, I will go into a lot deeper things and current events and a lot of um, things that more uh, scriptural or spiritual viewpoints around things that are happening out there um, and uh, more in depth on that kind of stuff. I don't want to, YouTube will censor <laughs> uh, anything that I accidentally say that goes against their, their guidelines and whatnot. So um, those, those shows, videos will not be published. Uh, on YouTube, the only way you'll be able to get to them and uh, see those is through the Patreon channel. Um, and um, I'll put those links in the description. Um, looks like I forgot to actually do that before here. So I'm learning, so bear with me. Um, so I'll have those in the descriptions going forward for you guys. Um, and if I can go back and edit this one, I will add those there. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll attempt to do 30-minute uh, shows. Um, obviously, life happens, and... Uh, Sometimes I have to duck out early or I won't be able to do a show, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, it just depends on what's happening in, in life with family. Uh, I am a father. I am a husband. I do have other responsibilities first. Um, so those kinds of things happen uh, every once in a while. So, uh, And uh, for this channel, um, I'll attempt to be doing a show every day at approximately 1230. Uh, so be on the lookout for those as they come and rise so um but uh yeah today um that's pretty much just kind of wanted to give you guys a synopsis of who i am what to kind of expect on the channel um uh, kind of uh what i enjoy and how how i like to discuss different things um uh so uh but 
today um, I kind of wanted to just take this opportunity <clears throat> and kind of show you guys or kind of talk about uh, Bitcoin in particular. Um, everyone talks about Bitcoin, but there are things about Bitcoin that I think a lot of people seem to overlook. Um, uh, from my perspective, Bitcoin <clears throat> is the apex currency of the world. <clears throat> um, kind of the top of the food chain, if you will. Um, part of the reason uh, uh, I think it's 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 such it's going to be such a uh, a big deal. Already is a big deal is because governments of the world can't control it. You know, our legislatures have already come out and said the genie's out of the bottle. There's nothing they can do about it. So they're going to try every which way they possibly can to to figure out how they can build something um, that is comparable, but they're not going to succeed. You know, Cliff High talks about how they'll try three separate times to create their own or a revamp of the currency, and it will fail. <clears throat> I actually kind of think that, that uh, he's probably going to be right on that. People realize that the fiat currencies of the world have, they have a, an expiration date. Historically speaking, every single fiat currency that has ever been created, that has ever been in existence, has 100% of the time failed. The U.S. dollar has been the longest running that I'm aware of, and that's primarily because they pegged it to gold for a long time, then they took it off the gold standard, and now... And they put it on, turned it into the petrodollar, and then that is now no longer in existence. And it was really interesting in the in 2008 when the, when the housing market crashed, and really the entire economy crashed. Um, you had the release of the Bitcoin white paper, and that was a, a perfect timing from whoever released it, Satoshi Nakamoto. No one knows who it is, uh, which is a very good thing in my opinion because they can't stop it. If they don't know who started it, they can't stop it. And I think that was very wise on their part to make it completely anonymous and they really saw it. But having the ability to have peer-to-peer -peer transactions from a decentralized uh, manner, the nodes uh, or miners in this case for Bitcoin in particular, um, are everywhere and yet you can turn off a miner and move it somewhere else and it's still gonna pick up where it left off. It's gonna continue to mine. Um, that kind of power and capability is something humanity has never seen before from a monetary perspective. So I call it an apex currency. Um, and the reason I call it apex currency is because it's moved more in from more from a, you know, we're going to do a cash exchange of Bitcoin into more of a uh, store of value. Um, and I, I really kind of see, you see industry now, you see enterprises now looking seriously at adding per different percentage points of their cash holdings because every business has a cash holding of some kind right every major retailer does every major company has a pile of cash that they have for whatever different reasons um uh, those holdings you know you look at i think it was one percent i think tesla put one percent of their their net cash holdings into bitcoin I think it was like one. I don't even know if it's one percent. Actually, to be honest with you, it's probably a lot less than that. But it's one point five billion, and the price jumped significantly just from that. So here's the thing: <clears throat> you guys need to hold Bitcoin I, again on these channels. Let me put it back. Let me re rewind here. Nothing I say on these on this channel is financial advice. Nothing I say on this channel is um, legal advice. Nothing I say on this channel is medical advice, etc., etc., etc. This is for educational purposes only. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm merely giving an opinion. It's not telling anyone to do anything. Um, so, but yes, I will tell you what I personally do or have done or would do. Um, and in this case, holding Bitcoin is a big deal. Uh, try to get as much of it as you can just because when the dollar fails, and it will fail, um, you'll need something to either transition into what the next currency will be, or you'll need to be able to have that transfer of value from the U.S. dollar, which is nothing now. When you think about it, you go to the stores, the same tomatoes that were there yesterday are now, they cost more. The supply hasn't changed. Economics 
has the economic laws of economics supply and demand. The demand hasn't changed, the supply hasn't changed. They've printed so much money, so much money that you literally lose value. So inflation is a hidden tax. So the more they print, the more the less you are able to buy there with the same dollar, which costs you more of that dollar to buy the same things you you originally were gonna buy. Honestly, they're trying to blow this up so much right now with the printing that you see. You got the, what is it, the three point something trillion dollar bill, infrastructure bill that they're trying to pass that is nothing but wasted spending. And if they continue to blow this bubble up, it's like a balloon. If you keep blowing it up, it's going to eventually pop. Um, they're going to try and get as much out of it as they can. Um, so we, the people of the world, need to protect ourselves. And one of the ways you can is to buy yourself you know, cryptocurrencies. Um, also, gold and silver is a good way of it's a good store of value. For the past 5,000 plus years, you've had gold and silver have been um, that true store of value. Um, and honestly, that is a great way to transition from or protect your purchasing power. Uh, cryptocurrencies are more like the new stock market, right? So you got all these different projects that are launching and they launch a cryptocurrency for the blockchain that they're building, for the technology they're trying to provide to the world through that blockchain. As we col as we go and put our money, our, our fiat into those, those projects, we're buying tokens or uh, stock in that company. And as the value, as that company produces what they're producing, the value of those coins go up based off of the usage in that network and of also the more that people use that um, network the, the the higher the value will go the more that people use obtain the coins the higher the value will go things like that so um i kind of lost my train of thought there hang on <laughs> uh so having and holding uh cryptocurrencies in particular it gives the ability for us people of the world to be able to be outside of the fiat system as it collapses uh, that will give you protection from the what you are able to obtain uh, from a monetary standpoint and and either as cryptocurrencies continue to grow uh, in value um, you'll be able to obtain more and more physical goods in the world um, so think about it from this perspective right you know go into more of a, a talk about regulation um, a lot of people think regulation is good and I think a small amount is good as well but when it comes to cryptocurrency you need to realize the world needs to realize that blockchains are self-regulating systems they already are regulated you can't take a regulated system and say change your regulation into what I tell you to do it it's not gonna happen it already is people need to realize that the people need to realize that blockchains because they are already regulated they just need to follow what those regulations are that's what I mean it's already the small amount of regulation makes sense they already are regulated cryptocurrencies already are regulated um, and I, I think that once the world realizes that that regulation is already there you're not going to have to worry about those different types of constructs from a governmental standpoint. Once they start to realize this is actually what um, uh, it's already built into this system, they're going to just give up. I really think they will. They'll they'll give up and join. They already are. Um, uh, that's why they they bash it so much. That's why there's so much you know fear around them regulating it. And, you know, people the weak hands get out and whatnot. I mean. At the end of the day, just stick with it, hold it, hodl it, hodl the Bitcoin. Did you hear other YouTubers talk about hodl the Bitcoin, hold on to it. Uh, there are plenty of other projects out there that I'll cover in other, in other shows. Um, I think that you'll start to see uh, kind of how the different projects connect with what they're working on and then also to each other. Uh, ecosystems, this entire new ecosystem uh, is going to be built. And you know, a lot of you guys already know this, but um, uh, blockchain technology, 
uh, it's it's not Internet 3.0 in my opinion. I think it's another technological advancement that's disruptive that will definitely disrupt um, industry. So just like uh, the Internet came and, and disrupted communications, and now it's definitely already in, in a... Sorry. Uh, it's disrupted... Uh, uh, entire ecosystems now you got blockchain that's going to disrupt different parts of uh, industry in, in general supply chains, everything will be uh, decentralized, all that kind of stuff um, losing my train of thought here, probably should have a little more coffee <laughs> um, so back to Bitcoin being the apex currency of the world as an investor if you go and buy property in New York, or you buy property um, eh, somewhere in the world, let's just call it your hometown, whatever. You buy a high rise, you buy a rental property, you buy just property in general that you plan to hold and sell later as the value increases, that's great. But what happens when your local government of those different areas put so much strain on you via tax on that property or they put so much regulation that you have to abide by and fees you have to pay and things like that because you own that property well Bitcoin like property if you own it uh, and you have it somewhere um, you can pick that value up and move it you can't pick a building up and move it you can't build property up and move it Bitcoin in general has the capability of being anywhere and yet nowhere. And I say yet nowhere because the way the node structures in the uh, 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 distributed ledger technology, not distributed, yeah, well, distributed ledger technology, so it's, it's the nodes as they operate um, uh, for staking. So we got proof of work, proof of stake. Um, I'll go into, I'll do a video kind of explaining what the differences are of those, the benefits, the, the drawbacks, etc. Probably add some notes here to kind of go over that. Uh, maybe in the next couple of days, something like that. So, um, but uh, you can literally pick the Bitcoin up, move it to another country. You can pick the Bitcoin up, move it into another state. You can you can memorize your private key and go anywhere in the world, and you'll no one will ever know that you have a million dollars or more in your head. Um, there's nothing like that in the world. Everyone knows what Bitcoin is now. Everyone has heard of it. Everyone knows what it is, and it's only growing, just like the internet. You know, you had news broadcasts back in the day. What's an email? Can someone explain an email? Well, now you're starting to see what's Bitcoin. Can someone explain Bitcoin? And that's why I started the company. You know, um, just to kind of go into what I do a little more in that. I, I do the consultations, as I mentioned before, to kind of educate people. But I also, I'm a builder. I like to work with, with other businesses um, and helping them realize the blockchain capabilities for the solve of their, of their company. Uh, so what that to me means is um, there are different projects that uh, I personally am working on, um, as I have permission to tell. The world about those I will um, but uh, if, if, if you want to know as a business if you want to know how to actually set up a blockchain I'm not a developer I'll go ahead and put that out there now um, I, I am the ideas guy the 50,000 foot view I connect the dots I help you realize what your take your business problem or your business need and if it makes sense because sometimes it won't but if it makes sense help you figure out how to take blockchain and make it work in general for your um, for your business so uh, with that um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one uh, for today um, so like subscribe please share the video uh, if you thought it was worth the time um, I I will again I'll at around 4.30 every day, I'm going to attempt to have a Patreon show, so sign up for my Patreon. Um, I did not put it in the description for this. I didn't think about that. I'm learning here. So um, if I can go back and edit that, I will. Um, actually, I probably can now. Ah, hey, look, I can do it right here. Let's do that real quick. Let me have it there. Uh, so let's see. Uh, 
bear with me here for a second. I'm gonna make sure y'all have that. Um, I think this will pull it up correctly. Hey, look, that worked. All right, so I'm going to add this in the description here. All right, so we will save that. Oh, look, I must, uh, oh well, nope, oh well. Can't let them all let me do it, so, oh well. Uh, I'll put it here in the chat. You can have that for that. Uh, so, in Patreon, I plan on talking more in depth on current events. Uh, uh, my personal opinion on what's taking place with those events. Um, and uh, how crypto and blockchain, um, well, sometimes I will. We'll talk sometimes. We'll talk about other stuff too. We'll kind of we'll kind of go in different directions from that from that standpoint. But um, let me think here. Yeah. So uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, join my Patreon if you want to know more in depth what's what I think is going on in the world, how I view things, um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there. Uh, see what happens. It's gonna be fun. Looking forward to it. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day.